I, I don't, honestly don't know what I'm doing right now. I tried to record this video three times already and each time I either looked like a potato, fumbled on all my words, or someone decided that I was important at the point in time. So we're gonna try this again. Hey guys, it's your girl, <laughs> skinny penis, now I'm playing, it's Aaliyah. Um, I'm coming to you today with a very highly requested, super requested, no one requested this, a uh, skincare routine. Now I decided to do this because my skin is clear as hell and like, I feel like it, this can be beneficial to somebody, anybody out there. So yeah, it's all natural, vegan, it's vegan, um, and they're, it's really simple products that you can like buy anywhere, and trust me you can buy them anywhere because I bought them and I'm broke, I literally have no job, don't leave my house, I don't make any money, so you can afford this, okay, got you, and it's right in time for you know the BTS back to school season when we're all going back to hell, gonna be freaking fantastic with that glowy ass skin that you're about to have you're welcome anyways let's get started so I wash my face in the shower at the end of my shower because that's when you know your pores are awake and open and ready to accept the best gift that you'll ever give to them which is aka my holy grail in my whole entire life my um African black soap <laughs> yes Anyways, I use 100% uh, African black soap on my skin. This is what I've been using for the last year of my life, and it has changed my skin drastically. Probably this and the combination of other things that I use. But this smells beautiful. It smells like what you would want your grandma to smell like when she hugs you on your wedding day. That got super meta. I don't know why I didn't say that. But anyways, I got my African black soap from the beauty supply store because that's where black girl magic is born insider secrets anyways so um this is from ra cosmetics and it's with lavender you can't see it but it says with lavender and it only has about nine ingredients in it african black soap isn't actually black it's kind of a colorway of brown and like other colors and it's really soft like it can melt in the shower that's why i put mine i break mine in half and i put it in my little lush container that i have and i just take a little bit off and i put it on uh, my spring brush that I use with my my water and my soap obviously um, this is just like a little Vanity Planet spin brush dupe from Amazon but it works just the same um, it's busted but aren't we all just a little busted hello darkness my old yeah so um, I put that on there with a little bit I just put it on my brush this is a very like coarse brush that I have because my skin I just like to get in, in the deep nitty gritty. Um, I use that with sometimes my Dr. Bronner's hemp soap, the peppermint kind, because I like how the cooling effect is on my face. Like how you feel when you eat five gum. Um, but yeah, and that's what I use in the shower to like wash my face. And then I get out the shower and I dab my face. Dab. <laughs> I'm horrible but I dab my face off with a towel that isn't my body towel so I won't get any bacteria from the long adventures I go on leaving my house I don't go on any adventures I stay in my bed all day anyways when I come into my bedroom and uh, before I get dressed and everything I spray my face with rose water this is the Olivia care rose coconut wool rose rose water uh, it's just like regular rose water that I put in this cute bottle because I liked it. But I got this from Marshalls for $6. And I just sprayed it over my face and let it soak in when I put my clothes on. And when I'm done with that, I put my moisturizer on. And it's real moisturizing. <laughs> it depends what season it is. If it's winter, fall season, I use African Shea Butter. Pure African Shea Butter. It's Jesus for your skin. Any skin. All skin. All state. I don't know what's wrong with me. But this is so good. I have oil, really, really oily skin. Like, I used to have, like, pools of oil when I wake up, and it was disgusting. Like, you could dip your french fries in there. It's nasty. But ever since I started using this, my face doesn't get oily like that anymore. Um, as I said, I use this uh, in the wintertime because it gets very dry outside where I live. I live on the East Coast, and it's just cold and dry and the apocalypse. 
basically um but yeah i use a little bit on there and i like rub it in it's all nice and moisturizing and thick your girl's a little thick um yeah and then in the spring summertime when it's not too uh dry outside and it's very hot and humid i use rosehip oil 100 percent rosehip oil which is so good for fine lines and like brightening your skin it's just really nice it's really light and everything um and it has a little dropper which is nice so i just like drop it in my face just rub it in it's really it's really relieving it's really just such a stress relief because you know i'm so stressed out <sighs> so that's what i use for my um moisturizer on my skin and i take care of my lips because my lips are like my favorite part on my body because the rest of it just look a potato um and for my lips i use blistex which is the best thing ever i also have carmax in here any two of these will save your ass on a good day um i also started putting uh vitamin e oil on my lips as soon as i got the shower so we just give it a, a burst of moisturization uh i don't know why i do these things um and that's what i use for my lips very simple and then for my acne which i don't get a lot i only get hormonal acne so when my period's coming i only get acne any other time uh my skin's just it is um but when i get acne i use tea tree oil which people will tell you to dilute it i mean i don't dilute it because my skin's very tough i guess i just use this little brush thing right here and i just like put it dab it right on the little spots and they're gone in like two days honest honestly two days that's just my normal skincare routine and then after that i'm just done i'm just good um if i want to treat myself and give myself a mask i use the freeman's um avocado oatmeal clay mask which is like deep for your, your skin and your pores to be cleansed and purified to the most innocent stage of its life and that's what we all need sometimes because you know we ain't out here being children of god i know what y'all doing Mm hmm and then sometimes when i'm going to be extra and i want to make my own mask i use the indian healing clay or acid healing clay whichever one that you have and i put it with either rose water or apple cider vinegar and i put a little bit of tea oil in there and like some charcoal i just do some witchcraft and like whew, beautiful and i put it on my face and i just feel really nice and pretty because i look like a monster showing my inner demons um but that's basically all i use for my skincare which is really simple all these things are uh i think not not tested on animals and they're vegan cruelty free which <laughs> i'm all about that cruelty free life not tested on animals because animals are beautiful yes lord um but yeah that's about it for my skincare routine took me five tries but i finally got it down guys <laughs> yeah um i don't know when i'm gonna upload again but um you'll just go with the flow and i'll just go with the flow and we'll be flowing together Bye now.